All right, hey guys, uh, Pastor Nate here and Joe Castillo, uh, our men's uh, men's ministry frontline leader. Uh, we're here to talk to you guys a little bit about what it looks like uh, for the church to begin taking steps uh, uh, what, in what James one twenty seven says is true uh, religion, or or Jesus would say this is what it looks like to follow Christ, and that is uh, taking care of the widows and orphans. And before I jump into this, and 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 uh, we talk about an opportunity here. Uh, for a, the church to steward uh, um, James one twenty seven, or to, to, to really help uh, uh, and and love on mm-hmm. and care for the orphans. Let me read this out of the Passion Translation. It says, True spirituality that is pure in the eyes of God our Father is to make a difference in the lives of the orphans and widows in their troubles and to refuse to be corrupted by the world's values. Wow. So I love that, just the thought of, what, what, what can I do today right. to make a difference in the lives of, of widows and orphans? And specifically today, right. talking, about, talking about orphans and mm-hmm. Get Real 24. Right. Talk, to, talk to us about that. Yeah, so Nate, Get Real 24 is a, a branch of the Fort Smith Children's Shelter. And their program's goal is to help foster children that have been raised in foster care, who have turned 18, uh, to transition into successful adult independent living so to maybe put it into other words you know this is a program that's aimed at taking these new young adults who have uh, you know learned a certain uh, set of life skills as they've grown up right. but need a, a good launching pad yeah, from a from from a broken home right absolutely in yeah. the through an age through yeah absolutely foster care right yeah so and there so to kind of bring together the right people and the right resources and the right environment to allow them to transition into successful living. So um, from an accountability perspective or an oversight perspective, um, there's a foundation that manages the Fort Smith Children's Shelter and Get Real 24. They reside in Fort Smith, but they take care of youth from all over the whole state of Arkansas. And so uh, that's kind of their goal at a a high level. Um, But the the program itself, uh, that Get Real 24 name, uh, it uh, gets its name from 24 fully furnished apartments that are uh, made available to the program. And so uh, that's kind of where the name gets its, its, uh, its origin. But the, the focus there is really um, on, on bigger than just providing a place to live. It's kind of a full encompassing life skills yeah. opportunities environment. Life skills. Watching 18 uh, year olds that have gra- are old enough that right. they're aged out of foster care. Right now be integrated into society with the tools that are necessary yeah. relationship and and just really uh, uh, what, what do you call a safety net yeah right a social yeah, yeah or a social, social net. Safe, safety net. yeah absolutely so and the need here is this you know you think about how a child's raised you know a child has kind of a, vill- a village that raises them you know you think about a mom and a dad and a grandmother and grandparents and just uh, coaches and teachers and, and right. church members and small group, you know, fam- and it just becomes this big sphere of people that this child in the center is connected to. And, you know, for these kids, as they grew up in foster care, you know, first they experienced the trauma of being separated from their biological family, you know, right. so if that, if that relationship is there now at all, it's, it's strange it's or, or maybe yeah. fragmented. Um, and, and so, you know, that, Big, these big gaping holes in that community for these children um, who are now young adults, um, you know, it needs to be filled. Right. And, and so uh, as, you, as you look at um, how to do that best, uh, the first thing that we need to do for them is provide like a stable living environment, you know, and that's what Get Real 24 starts with because, you know, it's kind of a staggering number, but one in five kids that age out of the foster care system end up homeless. Wow. So if you look like uh, at a year like 2018, where there were 235 children in the state of Arkansas alone that aged out, um, which means they turned 18 in foster care. That's what it means to age out. Uh, that's 48 kids, you know, 48 kids that became homeless. And you think about that over the period of years. I mean, it's just amazing. You know, that's a, that's daunting. Yeah, One astronomical is too numbers. It's, it's it's amazing. And so they just they disappear into our society, right? right? And so. Um, you know, Get Real 24 starts with a stable place to live. And, and though that might seem simple, that is 
that's that launching pad, right? And then from there, they kind of expand out into providing job resources. You know, this is, um, you know, employers that are partnered with the state and the program to help provide on-the-job training and apprenticeship um, to post-secondary education things that right. they provide where, you know, maybe a child wasn't able to complete high school and needs to focus on their GED or looking at certifications for a particular occupation. Or in talking with them, uh, help them get a, their first car. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's really, license. yeah, driver's license, right. all the things that... To integrate into adulthood very well, right, and and just and, and get on with life in a sense, yeah, uh, and Absolutely. stand on their own two feet, right. And we all know that standing on your own two feet is is never done well alone. Yeah, that's you know, yeah. It, it, it's you know, gotta yeah. have that. Yeah, you need the connectedness. That's right. Uh, to people that are going to provide, uh, you know, not only the knowledge and wisdom and the understanding of how the world works. Um, but also just the encouragement, yeah. you know, just the constant encouragement. That's awesome. So this this sounds like a really cool uh, program, Get Real 24. They got all the, the nuts and the bolts and, and all the package together. Super awesome. Uh, but what is it that we can really right. do as a church yeah. that would really yeah, absolutely. Uh, really be a blessing or, like James 127 says, make a difference? Right. Right? Yeah, so the program really, you know, it, what it's trying to do is put these uh, these young people again in a in a in a social safety net, yeah, where or a structure, a structured environment where relationships uh, can begin to form in a positive way that's about their future. You know, yeah. so mentorship is kind of the first thing um, that they need, and you know, from a, from a an input perspective into that young person's life, you know, that can be a phone call once a week. It could be getting lunch. Um, it can be you know just a number in that young person's cell phone right. that hey. You know, this came up today. I really, you know, what do you think about this? Or, you right. know, or hey, I got a flat tire on the side of the road. Yeah. Um, yeah. But just having that person in their life that's an anchor. Yeah. Uh, just one more person in that sphere, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like you're not like the only guy. Right. right? Yeah. Right. But, exactly. you're, but you're there and say, hey, I want to make a difference in this kid's life. There's some wisdom, maybe. Absolutely. I mean, I just, I, I know I, my, the love of God in me, just reaching out to him, just, just, Absolutely. just loving people yeah. and, and these kids and, and just helping shape them and right just and one person in that village that's right that's yeah just, you know and and so so the ne- and then really the next uh, phase is kind of um, being a what they call a sponsor family okay. and a sponsor family is um, a family that provides some family root structure for that young person you know right. a place to celebrate their birthday a place to come over and watch the Super Bowl a place to come on the weekend and maybe go fishing just jump into the normal yeah. family environment it's like you just invite somebody a uh, friend into yeah, your home come to the barbecue come over I mean my kids they have friends that they, they're at my house I mean yeah that, absolutely yeah so yeah, we've been blessed to have a young man that's kind of become a part of our family and it's just a, it's really amazing cool. to see the life and the love and the enthusiasm and all the growth that's for our family, you know, that we gain from him. That's right. And, and, that's right. and from, that he gains from us. So it's, you know, we you give a blessing, you get a blessing. It's just, that's right. it's incredible dynamic. So um, mentorship, being a, uh, a sponsor family, that's an opportunity there. Um, but I, I think to your, your point um, about, you know, James one twenty seven. You know, all of these kids aren't Christians. You know, they're, they're, they're not from a solid church background necessarily. Mm-hmm. And... Um, you know, this is something that as I was working through this whole process myself, you know, God said, hey, look, you know, Jesus came to the cross when you were lost. Yes. You know, um, he was obedient to what I had him to do um, even whenever you hadn't found the path yet. You know? right. And so our response to a calling, our response to um, something that he's asking us to do isn't necessarily dependent upon someone else's spiritual no, status. No, no, you know? no. So that being said, you know, um, our relationships with these young people aren't necess- isn't predicated upon or dependent upon their involvement in our church or their involvement in um, uh, any particular spiritual faith, but it's really there because we're there because this is what God's asked us to do. That's and right. I promise, you know, as all of us have seen so many times, you know, when you have someone that's orbiting around God's love all the that's time, right. when Just they're around your family, when they're around you, when they're around God's generosity, God and, does a work, and so that's it. God does a work. Yeah, and let's, that, that's just what we're just there to watch God do a work. Yeah, yeah. And so that's this is a you know opportunity get real twenty four to uh, us to be the church. It's uh, and it's just such a simple simple way for you know men and women and families to just to step up and just say hey uh, man I want to love somebody and yeah. so we're this is a, our step into something we talked about uh, a few months ago um, about really taking care of widows and orphans and be in the church in our community be in the light that God's placed here and um 
And so this is a piece we're gonna we're gonna start, but also um, you know we want to see this uh, even as we come into Christmas opportunities. Uh, this is how we're gonna we're gonna reach this year, right? Yeah. You know uh, we're gonna reach uh, around the holiday times into our foster care system, right? Uh, through with angels and and uh, Courtney Parker is gonna help be helping us uh, handle that and awesome, yeah. reaching with the call and and just some uh, foster care connections and then also uh, this get real twenty four. Right. Um, and so, man, I'm just so excited just yeah. to, just to, I mean, I, I got to meet uh, a young man yeah. that was in yours, and it's just such a blessing. Yeah. Matter of fact, he got his first deer, you know. Yeah, he did. Um, and uh, so, you know, those kind of things, you know, these kids, he was so excited. Here he's 19 years old, or turning 19, yeah. and he got his first deer, and, and, and he was so excited. And, you know, just these memories last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Uh, but really, destinies are yeah. are are what we have the opportunity to handle. And right. anytime you can love somebody and say what God says about them, right. it releases uh, them to become all that all that God designed them to be. So that's what we get to do as a church. I'd encourage you, um, you know, check your heart right now uh, and and see if this is something that's like, man, could could I be a mentor? Yeah. Or, or should I be a sponsor family? Like right. we've been looking into mm-hmm. even maybe like adoption. I know we've have talked to a number of families that have been talking about mm-hmm. adoption. And this right. is a great like lead-in step, right? right? Yeah. Um, and so on and so forth. So if, if you're interested in that right now, uh, if you'll... Uh, yeah, there's going to be some information in the slide that's made available right after this video. Uh, so it'll be up just momentarily. Uh, there'll be a number there that you can text. And uh, we'll get in touch with you and provide that information to you.